protect Tucker Carlson at all costs. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Tucker Carlson interviewing Larry Sinclair over on X, formerly known as Twitter. Now, if you don't know who Larry Sinclair is, I'm going to give you a brief introduction before we get to the interview trailer. And by the way, by the time you see this, the full interview should be live, and I will place that in the description box below. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. Now, Larry Sinclair is a man who says he had relations with Barack Obama back in 1999 when he was still an Illinois senator. All right. And he said he also smoked crack with him. So that's the story he's been saying for a very long time. This is not new information. So when you see Larry Sinclair talking, don't think, oh, now it's 2023. Now you want to come out and say something. He's been saying the same thing at least since the 2008 Barack Obama presidential campaign when he first became president. So this is an old story. It's old news, but it's not gone away. Now, there's a lot I want to say about Barack Obama's response or lack thereof, the Republican conservative normie response and lack thereof and outrage. But before we go down that road, let's get into the clip. Again, if you want to see this clip and the full interview, links, as always, will be in the description box. If you're on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. You're just a guy who's in town for the night, and it sounds like you're looking to party. Yeah. Pulled up in a bar outside, and there's this guy that's introduced to me as Barack Obama. I had given Barack $250 to pay for Coke. I start putting a line on a CD tray to snort, and next thing I know, he's got a little pipe and he's smoking. So I just started rubbing my hand along this thigh to see where it was going, and it went the direction I had intended it to go. Even though you had sex with him twice, you did cocaine with him, watched him smoke crack twice. You had no idea who he was. I had no idea who he was. He just asked the obvious question, what was Obama like on crack? Um, is, is it your sense that that's who Obama is, just transactional, or that he's bisexual, or like, what is this? It definitely wasn't Barack's first time, and I would almost be willing to bet you it wasn't as long. The guy's running for president, and credible information comes out that he's smoking crack and having sex with dudes. That seems like a story. Well, it would be a story if the media really cared about telling people the truth. Well, so there you have it. That is the interview trailer. And again, the full interview will be available in the box when it's ready, which would be right around 6 p.m. on Wednesday, September the 6th, 2023. So now there's a lot I want to say. There's a whole lot there. First of all, as I said from the beginning, this is not new information. This is an old story. I mentioned Larry Sinclair and my previous Barack Obama might be LGBT video. Remember that letter that came from his former college girlfriend where he allegedly admitted to having fantasies about fornicating with men. He says he fornicates with men daily, but only in his mind, never in reality. That was college now obviously 1999 past college he is an illinois senator and he allegedly had relations with that man right there larry sinclair i mentioned larry sinclair in the last video i thought he got deleted i thought he was dead but obviously he's not dead he is still alive and well and he's still telling the story now there's a lot first of all there has been no response from barack obama on any of this the two main stories, the previous video I covered about the letter, they, they have the letter, they have the, the letter, they have the letter down in Emory University in Atlanta, intact, in full, and in the letter, he is admitting to fantasizing about fornication with men. It's right there in a the letter. There's been no response. There's been no refuting. There's been no lawsuits. There's been nothing. There's been radio silence. Same thing with Larry Sinclair. Larry Sinclair has been saying the same story for the better part of 15 to 20 years. Publicly doing interviews, newspaper, all of that. I've never heard any response from Barack Obama. Nothing. No lawsuits, no denial, no nothing. Now, I don't know about y'all, but if it's me and someone saying, hey, you know, ABL like to smoke crack and have sex with men. I'm going to say, you know what? That's false. Never done that. Not interested in that. If someone else likes to do such things, that's on them. 
but that's not what I do. And you're damaging my reputation. You're, you're slandering my name. You're defaming me. So you're going to go to court. You're going to get sued. You're not going to have no more crack smoking money because I'm going to take all of that in court. That's what I would do. I'd be willing to spend that money to counteract that narrative rather than just ignoring it. If you try to ignore a thing and never address it as if it doesn't exist, to me, that lets me know that you don't want to address it because if you do now, it's going to be a can of worms that gets opened. Because I would imagine Larry Sinclair is not the only man who Barack Obama allegedly had relations with. And again, to be crystal clear, these are all allegations, just allegations. But these are allegations that Barack Obama has not responded to. Again, if it's me and that was being said about me, I would go to court and handle it that way just so it wouldn't continue. False rumors. Allegations can be damaging. I go to court and get rid of it. Now, here's something else. Some Republicans, some conservatives say that Tucker Carlson is out of bounds for interviewing Larry Sinclair. Oh, Tucker is, you know, getting into the the, the weeds of rumors, and this is this is disgusting. This is distasteful. He shouldn't do this. There's no evidence. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait just one minute. Let's just Put things in perspective, shall we? Don't we have a former president? Because, you know, that oh, what, what they'll say is, oh, Barack Obama, he's not the president anymore. Why is this relevant? There is a former president being indicted right now. Not one, not two, not three, but four different cases. And one of the cases involves Stormy Daniels. Now, we know the whole Stormy Daniels story about how Trump allegedly had an affair with her when he was married to Melania, and then there was some hush money paid. That's the allegation. He's facing prison time over that. Now, Trump isn't the president anymore. Trump's not in office. Trump's not even in politics right now. He's at Mar-a-Lago chilling in, in and out of court. But for some reason, that's not out of bounds. Talk about that, to indict him over that. To, to indict him criminally over that because allegedly uh, Michael Cohen paid Stormy Daniels some hush money and then Donald Trump reimbursed him, allegedly. So if that's not out of bounds, then why is it out of bounds to simply talk about Larry Sinclair, who's been talking about the same thing 15 years? I don't understand. It's so weird. It's like, do we, do, do we want to lose? <laughs> do, we, do we just... Because, listen... Even if there was no criminal allegation attached to a thing like this as it relates to Trump, if somebody who was any kind of way credible, who Trump never refuted, who Trump never brought to court, who Trump never denied, if anybody came forward like Larry Sinclair on Donald Trump, the mainstream media would never, ever, ever let it go. Oh, they wouldn't let it go. Oh, you are so anti-LGBT, yet you had uh, relations with a gay man. You smoke crack. You talk about you're so sober. You don't drink, but you're a crack smoker. That's what they would do because they did it with Stormy Daniels and the same thing with Brett Kavanaugh. Remember Brett Kavanaugh trying to become the Supreme Court justice? Then there was this whole campaign from Christine Blasey Ford talking about, oh, he assaulted me when he was 18 years old at a party, all this, that, and the third. No evidence, nothing. They put her on the cover of Time magazine. No evidence, no conviction, no nothing. Brett Kavanaugh vehemently denied it. He had witnesses that helped him who corroborated his story. He had a diary and a calendar that showed where he was. He had an alibi. It didn't matter. So I'm not trying to hear anything about this interview being out of bounds. If that interview is out of bounds, then so is everything they've done against Donald Trump, um, Brett Kavanaugh, even going back to Clarence Thomas with the, the hair and the coat can and all that kind of stuff. I'm not trying to hear it. We got to stop being so soft and trying to capitulate and try to quote unquote, do the right thing. We over here getting beat in the head with bricks and shovels and guns and baseball bats. And we want to fight back with the hands behind our back. Talking about, please don't hit me. It's ridiculous. But as I close, I want to say this. Um, Tucker Carlson, 
You are a treasure to America. Shout out to you. Protect Tucker Carlson at all costs. Stuff like this needs to happen. Okay. If you don't want this kind of stuff, then just keep watching Fox. Keep keep watching your normie box. Keep watching Fox. Keep having them tell you to not do anything while the left continues to stomp us into wine every single day. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your thoughts on Tucker Carlson interviewing Larry Sinclair? Is it out of bounds, inbounds, whatever your thoughts are? Let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is 100% inbounds. If it's out of bounds, then so is Stormy Daniels. So is Christine Blasey Ford. So is Anita Hill. So is all these ridiculous ticky tack charges and indictments. Okay. Hillary Clinton, the email is talking about, oh, well, there's enough to convict her. There's enough to at least charge her, but we're not going to do it. Nobody reasonable would do it. I mean, listen, there is so much ridiculous nonsense happening toward conservative people from the left that just happens and nobody does anything about it. And then the moment we have something on them, all of a sudden it becomes an internal battle about how to handle it. Oh, well, we shouldn't say that. We shouldn't do that. I mean, we need to stop. We need to stop. It, it, you can't just, again, you can't be getting stomped into wine every single day by these people and do nothing to fight back. It, it just boggles my mind. and doesn't make any sense. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that is all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.